was the best player you played with at Newcastle? And I was with some ridiculous talent, but when you're judging a player, you have to go right, do it time and time again, and was just genius. And it was Peter Beardsley. Yeah, I, 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 in training, he does. He, at times, I used to think to myself, "Get hold of it, you know, get on, do a dribble," and he just pop it off, and then you, you start, you start to, you learn. I learned more from Peter Beardsley in the first six months of him playing than I probably did with any coach because you watch him and how he sees things he, he you pick it up because you because it's close you, you're now in close quarters and he does things you know he shoots between your legs and you think and yeah. I remember once I remember saying to him oh you lucky bastard he scored again and then he did it about three times and he kept saying I'm I'm I'm, I'm a real lucky bastard on a base <laughs> and then you're realizing because he goes to shoot round you and then drags it through your legs keepers on side and it's just but it was just his vision that I saw about popping it off, keeping it moving. And it was all, but all that comes from, you know, it's all like he, like he says, it was him going, he's learning from his time at Liverpool and that handed down and, and Keegan being in training and just, cool. it's, it's weird. It's hard to, it's hard to say, oh, you know, he, to, he wouldn't say to me, oh, get here and do that. He would say to you, you know, Keep the ball moving. Get a different picture in your head. Every time the ball comes to you, what can you change? What can you do? And it, and it's true. I used to look at football in a totally different manner. But him, week in, week out, he was, he was, he was ridiculous. He was yeah. frightening. I think he, I think at that when he came, when he knew, he must have been thirty-one, thirty-one. He just, he just got better and better. Do you know, Andy Cole said exactly the same thing to me. I asked him, like, all the players that he's played with. And he said, like, Peter Beardsley is one of the... He learned so much from him before he went yeah. to Manchester United. It's really helped his career, which is incredible. Oh, it is. Honestly, it, 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 it's a weird thing. Mm. I, I, I remember... It's, there is a little funny... Thing. I remember him joining us. And I'm thinking, brilliant. This is more like it. I'm, we know Keegan's signing proper players now. You know, you know, Liverpool, England, everything. I was like, right. We played Hartlepool pre-season. He'd only just arrived, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, you know, I want to see what he's like. You know, give him the ball, give him the ball. Anyhow, I'm, you know, I'm playing left bike, so I'm, the ball drops to him, and he's, he's he's kind of on halfway line, and he didn't even look, and he just pinged it straight out, but it went about. 10, 15 yards in front of me. It went straight out of play. Honestly, it went straight out of play. And I kind of looked over and I thought, well, okay, fair enough. You know, he's he's just finding his range, you know. Anyhow, I remember in training about a week later, the same thing happened. It was like a little game. And it just went, and I looked. And then it clicked. It weren't Peter Beardsley's fault. I should have been 10, 15 yards, yards further forward. Right. But he doesn't bollock you. He doesn't tell you. It's up to you to go. Ah, right. If the ball fucking drops there, I should be on. My, I should be on my way. But I was used to playing with guys who, when the ball dropped to him, he took a touch and he shoveled it my way, and then yeah. I sort of like into it. He didn't take a touch. He just did it, and that's that's one of the things to explain, you know. And it's weird. He doesn't honestly. He doesn't tell you. And, and the thing of it is, he's, he, he can be very cynical. We used to say to certain players, we go, oh, Peter Beers, you know, I feel a bit, you know, he don't talk to me. And I'm thinking, yeah, because he don't fucking rate you. <laughs> <laughs> he, will, he, will, he will blank you. He'll just go, no. Wow. He, he won't, he won't, it's not, he won't be nasty. He'd just be like, no, you know, he, he won't, he won't go a bad way, you know. You know, he's one of the nicest guys ever. But, but if you can't, if you're not on his wavelength and you don't, and you don't get in it, that's it. 